Hello guys and welcome back to another M Creator tutorial. Today what we're going to be taking a look at is the advancement command. Now there is a whole bunch of commands that we'll eventually cover and basically how to use with M Creator. and one of the ones that I wanted to actually look at today was the advancement one because not only can you basically add the advancement like you can with the procedure block in M Creator, but you can also revoke it and you can do so much more rather than just a specific advancement. You can actually do a whole line of advancements if you wanted to. So it's worthy to take a look at today. So let's hop into the video after the intro. So before we get started, I want to just point out that I have a couple uh, potions that we have here, a couple Lingering and Genius. Uh, so there's Mind Wipe, which should get rid of our advancements for the story um, storyline advancements, and then we have the Genius, which should unlock it. At the moment, we have no advancements whatsoever. So if we were to basically just throw down the Genius one, we should automatically get all the advancements that we need for that. So uh, this will just update in just a second. We'll unlock every advancement through just a few commands um, to basically do that. So as you can see, we've unlocked all of them right from one potion effect. Now, if we were to open up the advancements, as you can see, all of them are unlocked. Now, what I've basically done was use a command called slash advancement and then I've used grant and then at P for the nearest player and then what I've done for unlocking all of them really with a very few commands is I've gone through and then I've basically selected a target one that I want to bring unlock all the command or advancements through up to that point. So if we were to want to unlock for example the end which unlocks all these ones here then what we would want to do is we want to target the end one. So I think the um, one that we need to go to is on the Minecraft namespace. And then what we need to do is story. And then it should be the one that says uh, enter the end. So this one right here. And that will unlock all of the proceed or advancements up to this point. So unlock all those up to this one right here. Now if we wanted to unlock this one, then we would just target that one. And then we could also target these ones right here as well, as well as that one right there. So that would basically unlock all of them and that's basically what I did. So to remove it, we can also actually throw down the mind wipe one. And we can walk through this and it will automatically uh, revoke all our advancements that we've unlocked under the storyboard one. So that basically is the opposite of the grant one. Rather than granting it, then what we would want to do is we want to revoke, uh, re -voke uh, the advancement for that particular player. Another thing that to note, you can actually do a singular um, unlock singular advancements or evoke singular advancements by typing only and then the advancement name and that will basically revoke that particular advancement. Um, so if we wanted to use uh, the end uh, for this uh, we could actually grant that particular advancement right now and we should be able to uh, see that we've basically unlocked just the end one, but we've also we can also see the ones that are up until that point. So we haven't unlocked those, but we have unlocked the end one. Another thing that we can do is rather than have the Minecraft namespace, we can actually change that to our own mod or a mod that we are familiar with that we know the Minecraft namespace and the registry name. So if we were to go with test and then I have custom, which is the uh, advancement that I have for that particular one. So, and then it should be slash um, custom, I think, and maybe not. All right, so we have just the 
cards, uh, the custom one. So if we were to open up our advancements, we have a little green apple here. So let's take a look at Amp Creator and we'll see how it's all set up in game or in the actual procedure. And I'll show you basically how the, um, how to basically copy and paste. Now, if you want to autofill things, one thing that I should note now is you can actually type out the command in game, hold or press the tab button on the left hand side of the keyboard and then you can autofill what you want uh, for the pers the command that you want to basically do and then what you can do is you can copy all that by hitting control A and that will select everything and then you can hit control C and that will copy everything so in our case I'm just going to just copy just this particular first advancement so let's head into mcrater now Now, before I forget, uh, you can I'll provide the link to two wiki pages uh, for advancements. The first page is for the command itself. You can actually find some information on how the syntax for the commands are formatted. So you can it explains basically in detail what I've basically just covered in the intro part of basically how to use the only one, and then there's uh, different ones you can basically do as well. So in our case, I've basically went through and then the through would basically do a specific one. You can also do from and that would be basic, basically allow you to do that as well. So there's a few different ways you can basically uh, run the command if you want to. And that's what this page is for. If you need to see the actual structure of the advancements for the vanilla ones, then you can actually go to the advancement tab. Uh, for the page and then it will explain in detail what uh, structure of the advancements look like so um, these might be up to date with newer versions of the game so you might have to kind of figure out if it's the same all in the um, in amp creator in the amp creator version that you're currently using but you can use this as basically a reference to um, what advancements uh, you might be able to unlock. So obviously the namespace ID over here is the one that you would basically use for the um, advancement that you want to target. And there's all different types of ones. There's the uh, adventure, husbandry, and all the other ones as well. So you can use the image for the example. I'll make sure to provide that in the description for you guys. All right, so with Amp Creator, we have the two procedures that are to grant and wipe the advancements. So the only difference here is I'm using the revoke one for the, the mind wipe and the grant one for the, um, to basically give the advancements. Now I've basically targeted specific ones uh, that are at the, haven't, have haven't been unlocked all the way through and that basically allows me to target all of them in that particular um, line now again if we go over here and then we scroll up until we get to the main one as you can see we have the end so I basically needed to unlock all these ones right here and then I needed to unlock this one which will also unlock that and then I need to unlock one of these well, both of these in order to unlock all these particular ones here, as well as the apple. And that will allow us to unlock every advancement in this particular tree. So that's basically what I've done here is I've unlocked all those particular uh, specific ones and used the one, the command for through. And that's allowed me to get that whole line from start to finish and unlock that. So where can you find this block? That's a good question. It's under world management. And then it's the top one right here called execute command. And there's already a slash that is part of this. You don't need the slash. So when you do paste your command in, it should already have a slash. So you need to go to the start of it and just make sure that it doesn't have the slash. After which, uh, make sure that it's uh, targeting the at P for the nearest player unless you want to target all players and then you can basically run uh, at E and that should target everyone. And uh, at E is for entities, but uh, you don't need that for the 
um, advancement command because entities don't have advancements. So, and then you just basically paste that in. Uh, if you wanted to change it from grant to revoke, then you can just scroll over to the grant part and then type revoke in this section here and you can basically update the um, the actual command as if you were basically doing it in game. So basically that's all there is to it. Now if uh, we go to the advancement that I have, it's called custom and the actual namespace of the ID I believe is the actual name of the advancement. So if we were to unlock this, it should allow us to take a look at the code and it should be in here somewhere where the um, namespace is. I'm not sure exactly what part of the code is, but it should just be custom. So I'm not entirely sure. Uh, it doesn't look like it's displayed here oddly enough. So if we were to lock that again, uh, we would be able to do that. You might be able to click the ID one. It just needs to finish compiling. And it should, maybe it doesn't have that option. So it maybe just use the custom for the namespace and it should let you know for what um, advancement it is. So we know that it was custom for the actual namespace so I'm assuming that this would be the namespace for the advancement so when you type your advancement in it's probably going to be the same name for that and it doesn't look like you can change that at all so just make sure to name your advancement the same thing that you want to be typed in for your custom mod and then you should be fine so outside of that if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and I'll see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out Thank you.